Hi everyone, it's naturally Mona Lisa. Long time no see. I hope everybody has been doing great since the last video I posted here. As many of you know, I have been quite busy with work and with studying, so I haven't been rolling out content as, as often as before. But thankfully, I have a little time recently, so I'm very excited to talk to you about a small company today called Sapadilla. I first heard about this company on Facebook. So as many of you know, if you've been following me, I am always looking into plant-based products, non-toxic products, preferably products that are vegan with no fragrance or um, light fragrances. So while I was browsing Facebook one day, one of the Facebook advertisements was on Sapodilla. And I decided to check it out, went to their website, check out what they sell, check out their ingredients and all of that, and they seem to check out. So three months ago, I purchased these products on Amazon, and it's been really amazing to use these products. So let me dive down into this product review. I'm going to review these products based on four different criteria. Number one, do these products incite any type of allergic reaction? Number two, do these products have any toxic or harmful ingredients in it? Number three, do these products work the way that they intend to work? So does the soap work? Does the cleaner work the way it should be, etc. And the last thing, number four, is pricing. Is it affordable or is it way overpriced? The first thing is that these products incite any type of allergic reaction. The answer is no. That's always great because my health is most important, right? And I can't use any products that will cause my eczema, they'll cause my hives, they'll cause asthma or vocal cord dysfunction. And I listed all those things because make sure you check out my four part vlog series where I did tons of allergy testings. Um, from that series, you can see that, you know, I talk about my experience going to different testing to figure out what I'm allergic to and the best act course of plan, you know, whenever I'm allergic to something. So with that said, the fact that these products don't incite any type of allergic reaction is probably the biggest win for me and the biggest win for any products that, that I use, you know, if it doesn't bother my skin or incite any type of airway problems, it's huge win. Number two, do these products have any toxic or harmful ingredients in them? And the answer is no. Okay, so a lot of brands and companies out there are EWG verified or approved by the National Eczema Association, which is great, right? Those type of seals or labels show that, okay, those products are probably safer with less you know, toxins than other brands out there, right? But still, the best way to be sure that there's nothing harmful is to actually read the ingredient list on the bottle, okay? So always go to the bottle and look for any, any red flags, anything that is a typical or common toxin in skincare products or cleaning products. Now you might be wondering, what are those? Well, go to the description below, the video description below, and I will have a list of 12 harmful and toxic ingredients in there. These ingredients uh, are either cancerous or they are more likely to cause allergic reactions. So either cancerous or more likely to cause allergic reactions to people. So it's best that you avoid those 12 ingredients, okay? So next time you go shop for skincare, hair care, cleaning products, make sure that you are reading the label. Even though they have like EWG or NEA seal at the front, make sure you read the label, okay? Talk to bottom and make sure it doesn't have anything harmful in it. So with that said, this brand passes the test. It doesn't have any of those harmful or toxic ingredients in them. Number three, do these products work the way that they're intended to work? And the answer is yes, 100% yes. My favorite is the hand soap, and I actually gotten two fragrances. I got the, this is, I think is the lavender? Yes, lavender and lime. 
This is the purple color lavender and lime fragrance. I've, I'm not finished yet, so I'm still using this. And once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna start with this one that I just got. This is the grapefruit and bergamot scent right here. And this is my favorite product from Sapadilla. Oh my goodness, um, not a lot of hand soaps out there are made just for people with eczema or sensitive skin. And this is one of those hand soaps that does just that. And not only that, it smells so good. Yeah, it uh, produces a lot of foam and sudden action. You don't have to squirt too much for it to you know, spread all over your hands and to wash off your, your, the dirt and the gunk and the germs off your hands. Um, the other one I really like is the dish soap. This is a really, really good dish soap also. Again, similar to the hand soap, it produces foaming, you know, sudden action. You don't just squirt it in, in, in the dishes and there's no bubbling action. I hate those dish soap. Like, why would you a, a soap at all if there's no foaming or bubbly action to it, right? It's not just water, <laughs> you know? But anyways, um, it does a really good job cleaning grease grease and gunk from my dishes. I've used this many times with um, really greasy pans and it worked really, really good. And then there's this countertop cleaner. So this brand does offer an all-purpose cleaner. However, uh, that is a concentrated product. So you have to pour it in a bucket or a bottle of water to dilute that in order to use that. But um, this one is the countertop cleaner, so it already comes in a spray and you can readily just spray on any counter. I use this in my kitchen, but um, if you want to use it in the bathroom to clean the bathroom or to clean the dining room tables and chairs, you can use this too for that purpose. But I typically use it for the kitchen. Number four, are these products sold at a affordable price? And the answer is, it depends. So if you're used to purchasing products that are around the five, six dollar range, then this is affordable. So one of these products, each of these would be around five, maybe six dollars. Um, mm -hmm. So hand soap, I would say is $4.99 or $4.99. And then if you get the full pack like this, if you get the full three pack like this, it's around 15, maybe $16 on Amazon. So it's around that ballpark. 15 to 16 dollars for this three pack and around five dollars for each of these products so i understand if you're used to going to the dollar store and buying products for a dollar or you're used to going to walmart and spending only two or three dollars for products then yes you know five dollars for a product may be a bit steep for you however i've said this many times before your health and your safety is most important at least for me you know I have too many things that I'm battling with. I have eczema, hives, asthma, vocal cord dysfunction. I have too many stuff going on with my body that I don't have time to get something from the dollar store and suddenly have an allergic reaction from a dollar store product. Even though it's one dollar, it's not worth risking my health for a dollar product. So I'd rather spend five dollars, which is a little high, but for my health and safety stake, I rather spend the money um, for a higher end and a safer product for me and my family and for the environment as a whole. So if you're used to that product price range, like five to ten dollars, then this is very affordable. But if you're not used to, you know, spending five dollars a product, then it may be a little steep, but I strongly encourage you for the sake of your health and safety, um, it's really worth the price. So there you have it. That is my review on Sapadella. Make sure you go to their company website to learn more about their products and make sure you go to their website or Amazon to purchase their products. Lastly, make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All right then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.